Cyclists, young and old, left St. Peter's College in Wexford this morning to raise funds and break the stigma on depression and anxiety. Nick packed his cycling shorts and headed along. <laughs> the sun shone in County Wexford this morning as final preparations got underway on Summer Hill for the penultimate day of the 2016 Cycle Against Suicide. Students from St. Peter's College were joining the huge group of cyclists who arrived last night. Their mission to travel the country and spread the message of positive mental health. And spirits were high amongst amateurs and seasoned cyclists alike. It's fantastic. It's just it's like feeling the love. It's just brilliant. Everybody's so positive. It's just to um, show our support and get behind people who have mental illness and to show that we can help them and that it's okay to ask for help. These activists have travelled from Dublin to Donegal, Sligo to Tip. And there's a great camaraderie around the physical activity of cycling shoulder to shoulder. And this morning before we left St. Peter's College here, we had some very high tempo, high energy presentations in getting across our message that it's okay not to feel okay and it's absolutely okay to ask for help. I'll be To have someone to talk to and to be able to relate to is a massive thing that I don't really need at the moment. Knowing that you're helping people along the way is, is great and a lot of people here don't cycle so to help people who, who don't cycle as much is good to help them along as well. Keep her lit, keep her going. So they left St. Peter's behind. Tomorrow their trip will come to an end, but the work continues in breaking down stigmas around depression. Let's hope on the way to Dublin that's the only thing that breaks down. In Canada, a wildfire.